Bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we are going to be talking about Baddies Episode 2. And, y'all, this was a crazy episode for the second episode. I was like, damn, these girls are not playing. Like, this is definitely going to be a crazy, toxic season. Um, Yeah. Uh, next week I will be on vacation, so we're probably not going, I'm not going to be covering next week, but you know, we will be back following that. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you were looking for my next week video recap. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. All right. We start off with Sapphire and Bianca. They were fighting. This ended. This was like the end of last episode. So now it was what had started up the new episode. Yo, Bianca dead through Sapphire's wig in the toilet. Like that right there is full on violation. Like anyone would be pissed of somebody doing something like that. And she literally tried to flush it. I'm like, girl, you about to like really mess up these people's toilet. Like you are doing the most right now. I felt like that was extra disrespectful. And once Sapphire found out about that, of course, she was upset about that, too. She was like, she don't really care about the wig like that because it's not the highest quality. But at the end of the day, it's the principle. And, yeah, it is the principle. Because it's like, what are you doing? Like, you literally hit her over something from last season the first night. And now you take you trying to fight her again. You like you doing the most, and then she's saying that oh, like she tried to squash it because Mariah tried to tell her like oh, you know it's done. Now nah, once you put your hands on somebody, it's like certain people's not just gonna let that go. Like why would she want to let that go? And you spit on her, you took her wig, put it in the toilet, like you did all the disrespectful things that you could actually think of. You know what I'm saying? Like I know what she says when when she was like you know. When I'm mad, I get crazy, and whatever happens, happens. I know that for a fact because I've had those moments. But at the end of the day, you try. She's almost saying like, "Oh, I don't know what." You know, like I, I said, I was done with it. You say you was done with it, but you're doing way too much. So you're not really done with it because unless she's an idiot, or unless she's some like somebody who just lets people walk all over her, ain't no way that Sapphire would let any of those things go. Period. So, and that, that behavior was definitely unwarranted because at the end of the day, Mariah Bin says she was done with that type of those issues. Like, she's cool with the girl. She's okay with her. So, what are you still doing? Like, you're just trying to get clout. You're trying to get a few moments of fame. And you're trying to have somebody that you could beef with off the rip, like, as soon as you hit in the door. No. You're doing way too much. Um, so... <clears throat> even the meatball chick that came with her was like, nah, that deserves a booty, uh, uh, you know, booty whipping every single day. And I'm like, exactly. <laughs> so Mariah, they called her in, uh, Sapphire called her in because they was all talking about the situation. And they asked Mariah, like, you know, what's up with your friend? You know, and she was just like, she told Bianca to chill. Like, she was okay with her and she didn't want to listen. Jayla tried to be like the advocator. Oh, but you're in it too. Because nah, she you can't control other people at the end of the day. So that's no. She told her we've seen her on camera many times. Yes, she's gonna console her friends. She's gonna talk to both of them at the end of the day. But she did do her part, and she said she literally told her like, okay, it's done. Like there's no reason to be doing this type of stuff. So that's that. Like I said, Bianca, she just came in wanting a moment, wanting to be viral or whatever it was. So the rest of the girls come in, the new girls, the new, new girls, and boom, here goes Meatball. She goes straight for Gretchen. And Diamond and Tinka, they start going at it as well. Diamond, we remember, she was the one who actually started with Tinka at the audition. She thought she found somebody that she could just play with, and Tinka was not the one. Like, Tinka gave her a run for her money, all right? <laughs> so she was ready, okay? She was ready for her. Crazy thing, like I said, she was the one who started with her, so it's like, 
you are the one who made all this happen at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Because you thought that she was going to bully her and that wasn't about to happen. So this little Gretchen woman, she, I mean, oh. <laughs> she definitely put on a show. I mean, she's little and thin and petite, but she definitely, you know, did what she could, you know, even though Meatball is a lot bigger than her. She she definitely, like, had some hands. Tinka, let me tell you something. This girl is a monster for real, like, Diamond, like, she just need to leave this girl alone because that girl, like, Diamond, I feel like, yeah, she do her she do her thing, too. Like, she could fight, but I feel like Tinka is, like, on some demon, demon level type of fighting. Like, she will dead throw you in the ground with her body like some linebacker. Like, she had her in a headlock. Like, this girl was on some next level, like, fighting. I'm like... Yo, I wonder if her and Tzatziki was to get into it. I wonder who would who would win out of the two of them because they both look like they got hands. Like, they both look like they're real fighters, for real. But, yeah, honestly, I don't even know why Aubrey is really there, for real, because I feel like, like, is she a commentator? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she not really doing too much. All she's doing is coming in the, com you know, doing the commentaries and then making little jokes and stuff like that. You know, it's like, who, like, why is she here? Like, why is she here? Why is the Claremont twins here? I feel like they're just unnecessary, like, taking up space for no reason. But whatever. It's, um, it's Natalie's show. So <laughs> I guess they cool or whatever. So, hey, it is what it is. So Gretchen and Natalie, I mean, not Natalie, Gretchen and Meatball were fighting. And she ends up calling Meatball the N-word. But I feel like the way she did it, and I, here goes my disclaimer, right? So with me, I don't like saying the N-word. Like, if I'm referring to something, I might say it like, yo. Or if I'm, like, playing around, I might be like, yo, that nigga crazy for real. But really for real, I usually would be like that dude, that guy. Like, you know, stuff like that instead of saying my, my N. Because I always felt, and I always, when I have conversations with my kids or when I have conversations with other people, I always say my portion. And, of course, they they try to justify it or say, like, oh, but I don't feel like other races should say it. And I'm like, why is anybody saying it? I'm like, at the end of the day, this is a derogatory word. This is something that oppressed people, that kept people down. I hear people say things like, oh, we use it to uplift each other or to take back the word. You don't see no other races doing dumb shit like this, like calling people calling each other derogatory statements. This is not a word of endearment. And I feel like because rappers made it okay, now everybody just ran with it. And it's like, it's not leaving. So that's my little rant about that. So with that being said, she tries to let them know, you know, once, because once they heard her say that, it was like, <gasps> oh my God, the white girl just said the N word. So it was like, it was like crazy insane. Everybody was coming for her at that point, especially Jayla. Jayla tried to like leap over and get her and like, how dare you say the N word? And at that point she was already hot and heated. So she was like, I don't give a, f you know, she was just like, I don't give an F or whatever. So they're like, wait, so you don't care about our feelings? Like we're literally trying to tell you like, you cannot say this. Because we own this word. <laughs> you know, you cannot say this. But she wasn't really hearing it at that point. And the way she came across was kind of insensitive. Because she wasn't taking their feelings into consideration. But, like I said, I'm not going to just go ahead and say, oh, these people was right. Because I do feel like y'all want to get mad when other races say it, but nobody should be calling each other that. And Jayla, she was, like, going on a rant. Like, anybody here could say it except her. Like, she cannot. She's not allowed. And then they're saying, like, oh, because she's a white Puerto Rican. I see where she's coming from because I'm in the Bronx, okay? And in the Bronx, we've grown up. I don't know how old she is, but we've grown up with people in the hood, especially if you're in the hood, if you're in the projects, I haven't lived in the projects, but I've been in the hood. I've lived in the hood. And you have people that all grow up together in these tight-knit communities, and they just say whatever, you know what I mean? Because there's no real Caucasian young people. It's just blacks and Hispanics. 
um, yeah, pretty much blacks and Hispanics and Dominicans as well as Puerto Ricans will go ahead and they will say the N-word and the black people that hang out with them is all like, okay, because they're used to each other. And I think that that's what she was trying to let them understand, but they were so caught up on her skin color that it was like, no, it's we're not okay with that. That's not fine. Like I said, with me personally, I feel like none, nobody should be really saying it. But I feel like it's mess, It's kind of messed up that they're not understanding where she's coming from as well. I feel like she should be a little more empathetic and understand and be like, okay, I'll try my best. But I feel like it's so ingrained in her because this is something she's used to. She did mention that she has black kids and she said her grandmother or somebody's black or whatever I just I guess the melanin just didn't come to her skin color you know what I mean but she has it and that's what she was trying to let them know but they weren't really trying to hear it I feel on the same breath like the way they talking to her they should also be talking to um to what's it to Scotland because Scotland Scotland's all like well you know I could say it because I am black I'm part black and I'm Dominican but I'm like Dude, like, Dominican and Puerto Rican, I don't want to say they're the same, but in our area, in the Bronx, like, that's usually, like, it's, when you think of Hispanic people out here, when you think of people in the hood, it's Puerto Ricans and it's Dominicans. I mean, I don't know where exactly she's from, but obviously she has something similar where she's able to do that in the hood that she's in. So that's why for her right now, this is like a culture shock. It's like, wait, what? I'm not even white. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why she doesn't see how this is offensive to them. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, y'all let me know what y'all think. I mean, I know some people are going to say they're right. She shouldn't be able to say it. And other people are like, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know? That's how I kind of am. I'm like, it is what it is. Y'all put it out there f for people to al to allow people to disrespect y'all. Y'all disrespect yourselves, and then you wonder why it, other people feel like it's okay. You know what I mean? Because y'all saying it like, oh, like it's like you're say almost like you're saying, what's up, bro? What's up, sis? It's like the same type of way that y'all coming at each other with this derogatory word that was like used on your ancestors to keep you down. But that's that's it for my little history lesson. I could go on on a rant. I be I be having my moments, y'all. Anyway, so yeah, Jayla, she was upset about that, and turns out that she got bit, honey. Yo, the girl bit, her. and I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, I hate to say, it, but that's kind of like what you get because you bum rushing people. You want to be the avenger of the word, the n word, and going after people. This girl is entitled to defend herself at the end of the day. Like, what, is she supposed to just sit there and get beat up? Nah, you do what you got to do by any means necessary. You got to take a weapon. You got to take a weapon. You're not going to sit there and let nobody kill you. I know I wouldn't. If I got to bite you, if I got to rip your head off, if I got to scratch you up, if I got to throw something at you, like, I'm going to do what I got to do, but you're not winning. You're not going to get me down to, you know, you're not going to beat me up, and I'm, or at least I'm going to put up a good-ass fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... That is Jalen's talking about, oh, my God, and she bit me, too. Nah, it's up. It's up. Like, we fighting. She getting out of here. Like, dude, you put yourself in that position to get bit by somebody. Now you need to go get a tetanus shot or whatever or go get that checked out and make sure you're good because that's nasty. <laughs> you literally have somebody's saliva running through your veins, like, in your blood, in your system. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean... That was that. I feel like the one person that was trying to, like, make her understand how so many of the women were so upset at that moment was Scotland. Scotland, maybe because she's the lightest one, you know, besides her. Maybe that's why she felt like she wanted to school her and let her know. You know, and I feel like she actually was able to get through to her because she was talking to her in a calm manner. She wasn't trying to beat her up. She wasn't trying to bum rush her or anything like that. She was actually speaking to her and giving her the knowledge so she could understand, you know? Um, but, yeah, that's how that was. And, and like I said, with Scotland, I remember for a while I was just wondering, like, what her ethnicity was or whatever. But 
I guess she felt like, okay, I am this, I'm black, so I'm offended. Like, girl, bye. <laughs> that that's some two two percent rules and stuff like that. I mean, no offense to nobody, but I just felt like she just had to put that out there. I, another person that had to put something out there was Aubrey. Because Aubrey was all like, oh, my God, we need to get this white girl out of here. Did she just say the N-word? <laughs> I'm like, girl, <laughs> you just trying to make sure that you don't get any backlash for this because you're the only other white person there. You try to make sure, like, they know that you are not racist at all because you already know your fans will come at you crazy. I feel like that's what she was doing. But... Like I said, I feel like at this point, it's probably engraved in Gretchen's head because even when she was trying to talk rationally or kind of like have a little bit of banter at some moments, she said it multiple times. And it was just, it's almost, I felt like for her, it was almost like blinking. Like it was something she was doing without even really thinking about it because this is how she talks at the end of the day, you know? So it's just kind of messed up that they're not all able to come to, to understand each other and, you know, really have, this would be a good moment where they can both educate each other. And really, I feel like that's what Scotland was doing, was educating her. And I feel like she was kind of learning, but it's so engraved in her that, like I said, she was doing it without even thinking about it. And they not realizing that they thinking that she's just continuing to be disrespectful. So they, it's almost like we're going to beat it out of you. You know what I mean? I don't know. It was just a lot for me to see. Uh, so when things finally simmered down a bit with Gretchen, and I think they got her out the house, they probably put her in a hotel or maybe in another section because I didn't see her. I don't remember seeing her for the rest of the night after that. But when things finally simmered down, here go Tinka and Diamond again, okay? Tinka was taunting her she because she had her wig. She was putting it on, putting on other people, giving people like, hair samples i was just like dang another another wig goes to the dust i hope that these girls have like a a freaking suitcase of wigs because <laughs> i don't know what they gonna do <laughs> they hair is getting pulled off snatched off left and right i mean i guess like if you an og you should notice by now like let me bring a bunch of wigs the only person that's good is really jada jayla because she don't got no hair so she don't gotta worry about none of that and Gretchen, she got real hair, I'm, I'm, I think, you know. She could probably have some extensions, but it seemed like it was real hair because when they was pulling it, her whole head was getting snatched, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't seen no strands coming out. I just seen head getting pulled to the side. Yo, but they did her dirty. Her lashes was gone, bruises all over her face, scratches. I'm like, damn, girl, you sure you really want to be on this show? <laughs> it's like, this is the time to reconsider Nobody's going to call you soft. They will realize, like, you was getting jumped by these girls. But I don't know. Some of these girls, they just, they they want the fame so badly that they're going to take these beatings. I'm telling you. But anyway, uh, it looked like she might have to leave because I know Natalie was even saying, like, nah, that's not okay. She going to have to leave. Natalie was saying, like, oh, she's Puerto Rican. Yeah, but she's the white Puerto Rican. She's not a black Puerto Rican. I'm like. <laughs> now we get to choose like okay you don't have enough melanin in you to be able to say that word like i said nobody should but that's just that's just my two cents y'all don't have to agree with me it's perfectly fine um i let people say whatever they want to say and like i said because i'm from the hood sometimes it does come out so i'm not going to sit here and be a full-on hypocrite but when as much consciously as possible i try my best not to use it i try my best to use alternate words like bro that dude things like that as opposed to saying that word when i when i'm really thinking about it but this is like that's why i could understand how she can do it without even thinking about it you know because it's one of those things that even like with a song, like you singing a song and if you're not really thinking consciously, you might just come out like and say these types of things because it's in the song. But anyway, um, so yeah, Tinka, she's a real funny one though. She was like trying to get her on the floor. Like after a while, she was just done with it. Then she was playing around with her, playing with the wig. Like she just had everybody laughing and I'm just like, yo, she's real hilarious. She was like, yo, at the end of the day, you try to bully me but 
I bully the bullies. And I was like, yes, sis. And I've been there. <laughs> I remember somebody trying to bully me before. And I was like, yo, you really going to try to troll me? Like, I am the troll master. Like, even at this age, don't try to troll me because I will, I will make you cry. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't back down easily at the end of the day. Like I'm not the one to, to play with because unless I feel like I'm done, you catch me on a day that I want to play, I'm going to play. But some days I'm just like, you know what? Just do you. It is what it is. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you have that. Cause you're not getting my energy today. Cause I'm all about energy as well. But yeah, I mean, at some point after all of that, going back and forth with Tinker and Diamond Natalie was just like, all right, normally it's baddie, baddie, shot o'clock, but this is too much. Like, we're going to bed. And I was like, damn, okay, boss lady, finally she's stepping up and, you know, taking control of these situations and not just letting these people fight until, you know, whenever they feel like they want to be done. She was like, all right, we need to be done with this. And that got Diamond to say, okay, you know what, boss lady has spoken, I'm a chill I'm going to just take some shots, go to bed, whatever. So after that, like, the Claremont twins showed their boobies, went into the thing. I'm like, okay, that's what they're here for. They're here for entertainment. They say a little something here and there. They show their boobies, and they let people feel upon them, and then they just have a good time. They're here for the turn up. And then Aubrey was taking off her shirt as well in the pool. A lot of these girls were skinny dipping taking it off, jumping in the pool. So, I mean, now they was able to have a good time. Even people that were foes, all of a sudden it was friendly. You know, they're all able to coexist in one pool. And I'm like, yo, I could never. Like, if I hate you, I'm going to hate you for life. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or at least, like, it's going to take me a real long time. Not, we just tried to fight 10 minutes ago. Now we share in the same pool. I'm right next to you. I'm like, nah. But I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends on the situation because you still want to be able to do your job. And I know in the past I've had, there's been situations where I have to still be professional even though inside I'm like, ah, I want to rip you apart, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you have to be able to know there's a time and a place for everything, I guess, right? So I guess that's why they were all able to. But still, it's it's tough. Especially if you was just fighting, like physically fighting. So I think, like, argument is one thing. Physically fighting is a whole nother level that I'm just like, wow, you guys are really good to be able to do that. But, yeah, that's the episode. I don't know. Gretchen might be out the door. I don't know if she going to be in the rest of the episodes. And they got a whole ton load of replacements just ready for somebody to F up. So... And you know these replacements trying to make sure they get seen. <laughs> so we'll see how this go, y'all. But thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Laters.